biggest impediments to adopting technology are really related to the time that it takes. It's hard, you know, it takes time out of our day-to-day -day jobs and we're already all pretty busy. And I also think an impediment is people not really understanding the, the why of it. What is the ultimate vision? What are we ultimately trying to achieve? And you know, one of the things that we've really tried to do, instead of just saying, listen, you're gonna adopt technology because it's your job, and if you're gonna work here, you're gonna do this. Instead, we've really tried to help people paint for themselves and paint for our organization the picture of what it is we're trying to do for clients. And we did an exercise back in 2008 when I joined the organization. Our juncture adoption was probably at about 20% and it wasn't being utilized broadly. And, and as you know, if it's not being utilized broadly, it's not really effective at all. So um, instead of going in and really hammering on that statistic and saying, listen, we're gonna do this, instead we kind of set that aside and, and took a big picture question of what is it, how is it we want clients to describe the experience that they're having with us? And if we had a client walking down the street and another client said to them, hey, I heard you're working with Moss Adams Wealth Advisors, I'm considering working with them, what is the experience like? What would we want that current client to say? How would we want them to describe it? And everybody got excited about that, they got energized about it, whether there's someone that considers themselves a technology person or not, they really got fired up about that question. So then we were able to say, well, what kind of tools would we need to implement on that? Well, most of them were tools that we already had, one of which was Juncture. So it really allowed us to say, hey, why don't we start using this technology that we have to implement the vision that we've all just described we'd like to see happen. So it wasn't a mandate, it was something the organization said, wait, we want this, and I'm each individually, each individual person, I'm willing to do what it's gonna take to implement on this client experience. So I think that sort of overcomes that question of, well, why are we doing this? Well, I think my biggest role as CEO is making sure that that vision is clear and that it's reinforced in everything that we do. So I rarely um, ask people to do something that I don't tie back to the vision. And there isn't anyone in the organization that I haven't asked for input on what that vision should be. So this isn't Rebecca's vision. This is the collective vision of our team. And every decision we make, we tie back to, well, what is it we're trying to accomplish? What's good for our business? And most importantly, what's important for our clients?